Android security is a bit of a trending topic, and with people's increased reliance on their smartphones, watching this video is going to make sure you can continue to stay safe. Let's get right into it. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is called app pinning, something literally every Android user should be using, but very few actually do. And unfortunately it's hidden away in the darkest corner of your security settings, but once you turn it on it allows you to use applications from your lock screen. And the implication of this is that if you want to let somebody borrow your phone to play a game, to use an app, to make a call, then you can make sure they do that without accessing any of your private stuff. The only way for them to be able to get back into the phone would be to hold down the back and the menu button and then use your password, which obviously they don't know. And the next thing which is kind of linked to that is by installing the Cerberus application you can block the use of the power button on the lock screen, which means that if someone steals your phone they can't actually turn it off. And the benefit of that is that the app also lets you remotely erase it just by sending it a text message. So if someone who steals your phone can't turn it off that means you can send it the text and automatically erase it so no one's ever going to be able to steal your data. So then we've got Dashlane, and these guys were kind enough to sponsor the video, but of course it fits perfectly into it anyway, wait till you see what it can do. So Dashlane keeps track of all of your accounts and all of your passwords. You essentially log in by using either a password or your fingerprint, and the idea is, is that by protecting your passwords with the app, if anyone uses your phone they can't access your accounts. So yes, of course it's secure, I mean we kind of expect that from a password management tool, but the real selling point here is the convenience of it. So once you've stored your passwords in, you can simply with one tap go straight to the site and your details will be automatically filled in. And on a related note, probably my favourite feature of the app is for it to automatically generate the most secure passwords. So you set a bunch of parameters for it to work under, such as the number of characters, whether you want digits, letters, symbols or you want it to be pronounceable, and instantly it just creates something for you to use. Within just a couple of clicks you can then assign that password to be used for any one of the accounts you've linked. Also a nice touch, it allows you to keep your secret notes secret. So that's Dashlane, there's a 10% off code for the premium membership just below that download link in the description. Now moving on, the next thing you really should be doing is hiding notifications from your lock screen. So once this setting is enabled, you can find it within your security settings, simply tap the checkbox, then automatically, it doesn't matter how many notifications you have, doesn't matter what applications they're from, anyone who hasn't unlocked your phone, which requires your password of course, can't see a thing. And this is important because a lot of the time when you receive notifications, they contain sensitive information. A lot of the times when you reset passwords or need confirmation for logins, those are sent via text messages. And combining that with the Cerberus application we talked about earlier, means that even if someone does get access to your lock screen, which we can't really prevent, then even then they really can't do anything with it. Now in terms of the passwords you should be setting for your accounts, I know it's annoying, I know it's a little bit inconvenient, and I know that most people just want to set it as the name of their dog, but you shouldn't. You should use a string of lowercase, uppercase, numbers and symbols, because trust me, much less than that and it can be cracked. Another thing, when you download applications, use the Play Store as much as you possibly can. All these apps have been checked, their certificates verified, and these are generally, almost all the time, completely safe. Now failing that, if you can't find the app or the version of an app that you want from the Play Store, which does sometimes happen, the only safe alternative is APK Mirror. This is the one site for which the apps have the exact same digital signature as they do on the Play Store, which is how you verify that they're not malware. Now one more thing which a lot of people overlook is that oftentimes your phone comes with a default inbuilt browser. Now if you're using a Samsung or an LG or one of the more reputable brands, the inbuilt browser is generally pretty safe, but for a lot of lesser known brands, you're much better off sticking to Google Chrome. And not only is it a faster, more efficient alternative in a lot of cases, but also a lot of investment has gone into the security aspects, and it's got a lot of the same security technologies as the desktop Chrome version. So of course it's going to be better. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.